to never feel stressed. That's what I crave. Not anxious tomorrow again, remaining this to emotions until my a crisis may awaken our desire to know, to understand the root from where our struggles grow. Letting go of judgments, beliefs and more, clarity may arise unlike before. For in observing without judgment or fear, the path to inner peace may become clear. So may you find the strength to look inside and to let go of all that keeps you tight. For in that stillness, peace resides, the freedom our heart would love to find. Worrying is carrying tomorrow's load with today's strength, carrying two days at once. Worrying doesn't empty tomorrow of its sorrow, it empties today of its strength. It's a quote from Corey ten Boom, my fellow Dutch women. I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people and make videos on YouTube since 2012. I share this because you may think that as a CEO of my company, that I feel more stressed than my employees. If you think this way, then understand this. From the Elon Musks of this world to the average Joes, we all experience stress. There is no worse or better stress. You may experience stress or overwhelm less often than Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, but that doesn't mean that it is easier to achieve peace. In fact, it is likely more difficult, something I will talk about later in this video. I also share this because you have been conditioned to care about numbers and appearance, but the truth is that it is effectiveness over appearance that works. So what is effective? To never feel stressed again, right? Please think about it. Not to meditate so you don't feel stressed for 15 minutes. Not to Wim Hof breathe to feel calmer afterwards. But to never feel the pain of stress again. This is what I consider effective. But is it possible? Your mind questions you, I may assume. But let's not listen to the mind, shall we? Because this inner voice is only making things worse. Do you see this? Man is not worried by real problems as much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. It's a quote from Epictetus. And a good example for this is, the reality is that you have high bills coming up that you can pay, but your mind is telling you, well, you may end up homelessness. Or another example is the reality is that your boyfriend, girlfriend, wife or husband wants to divorce or break up, but your mind is telling you, you will be alone and unhappy forever. I can continue to give you examples, but I think you see my point, right? Big disclaimer, I'm a conditioned individual just like you. I'm not better than you. I have not understood all the intricacies of my mind yet. I may have made some realizations that are absolutely true, but never believe me, for beliefs will always remain beliefs. So if you are serious about eliminating stress forever, you have to see for yourself. So do not watch this video and believe everything that I say and Continue doing nonsensical methods from all these videos from doctors on YouTube. You can compare this with, with just medicine. Right? And the unserious person keeps taking this medicine when they feel sick or stressed in this case. Some of these methods, they may work temporarily, but then two things happen. One, it works only temporarily. And two, we become dependent on them. So with all of this being said, how can we never again feel stress, anxiety, overwhelm, all of those things? You really have to care about it. That's the answer. You really, really have to care about it. I mean, just look at how many people say, I want to become rich and compare that to how many are rich. And the truth is that the ones that are rich, they wanted that more than almost anything else in their life. And the same applies to stress. You really have to want to understand it. And not because you create it, because that I say or someone else says it, but really because you feel this way inside. You just never want to feel that again. And you know it is possible. Your heart has to want this more than anything else, more than any other freedom from or other pleasure it can get. If you don't feel this way yet, which is very likely, then it can get there with time, but not because of time. But it can happen. And remember, it's only you who can find out what you really want in life. This being said, let's assume for now that you really want to eliminate stress forever in your life. How do we get to such an existence? Well, with a lot of things, it's well, not by method. I've already shared the why in the beginning of this letter. And to give you another reason is besides that they don't last, 
is that when they don't, you switch to another technique. Or you may even keep asking if you're doing and practicing the technique in the correct way. After all, you believe it works. And this will keep you trapped in this cycle forever because you are dependent. It's really important to understand that you cannot be dependent on others. Well, you can, you probably are at this point. But in order to get what we want, which is to never feel stressed again, we have to get rid of that. It's really important that you are not dependent on others or things for that sake. Even if other people are telling you that they have solved anxiety in their life, including anything that I say. And I say it often, but it's important to not believe me because that will just create another belief. Now you may ask, why don't you want the beliefs? Because you will never know if it is true. I mean, when you are following someone or something, you're not examining for yourself, right? Now, why do you want to observe for yourself? Why build a house on sand, I ask? I mean, if you believe that the foundation that you build your house on is concrete because I say so, and you start building your dream house on top of it, the villa with the swimming pool, the garden, all of it. But one day you realize that it was built on sand, then you see that it can collapse at any moment. You may say that you're lucky that it hasn't collapsed so far. I would say otherwise. You may find out for yourself why I say that. But one thing is for sure, you would be unserious to continue to live in that house, right? After you got a glimpse of this reality, that it is built on sand, that it could collapse at any moment. It would be silly, wouldn't you? So are you able to let go of all the comfort in the beliefs that you have at this point? Letting go of the beliefs of your boss, priest, coach, father, society, so that you can start to see clearly. Not through a broken mirror anymore, not through a field of mist, but to finally start looking at, at yourself as you are. Not through the lens of good or bad, not through the filter of the mind. By the way, if you want to understand more about this filter of the mind, you may watch this video next. So you want to observe yourself as you are without being occupied with all these rules in life or any judgment you may feel or have or get. So who we are, not who we should be. So for example, if I desire then that is the truth, but not I am a addict, so I should go to rehab. Because this creates conflict, you see, because you desire, but at the same time, you also feel you should not go to rehab because you do not want to stop. So if you can be completely honest with yourself, then the consequence will be clarity. So when can you start to look at yourself with clear, honest eyes? I say it again, when you're 100% serious, when you really, really want to. Therefore, it often happens during a crisis in your life, financial crisis, health crisis, whatever it may be. Because these are just moments when most of us become really committed to finding the truth there's no crisis then the question of how can I never feel anxiety again would not arise right maybe it would but more so because of curiosity not a desire to know now does this mean you have to create a crisis no what you really experience day to day is this not a crisis my friend I'm asking you I mean do you really want to spend the rest of your life with your days looking like 90% unwanted emotions and 10% a feeling of positive emotions, happiness, whatever it may be. Because to most this is the truth and to you likely as well, but you're probably not able to see it. So that's why I ask you to really think about it for yourself. How often do you feel positive and how often do you feel negative? And with negative I mean irritated, fearful, stressed, but can also be light emotions. Think about it. Now, there may be a few people who watch this right now and see that their current existence is a crisis already. And to him or her the question remains, how can I see the truth behind my stress? And to that person I can say, your answer will come not through me, not through anyone else, but from within you. You can only find the truth behind your current emotions by yourself, by looking at it without judging. You're strong, my friend. Don't depend on me, don't depend on others, nor their methods. May you finally see the truth in your life while you live it. So you can finally feel the peace that is available to you. Talk soon. Only the serious person may check the show notes.